What is going on, everybody? Some weird stuff is starting to develop here. Luna Classic and Luna, could there be a merger getting ready to happen? Are there some forward thinkers in here that are trying to bring validators on Luna 2 back to the Luna Classic fold? And I ask you guys, what could be better? Uh, wait, did you just say better? <sighs> yes, I said better, please. But please read the room. Not yet. Anyway... There's some news out here that there might be some validators moving back over to the Luna Classic chain, which would result in people starting to build on the network even more than we're currently built. We're going to show you one of the projects today, but we don't have all of this um, infrastructure completed, but it's getting there. And now is the time to start to onboard people who've been in this ecosystem before and there's smaller amount of people in this Luna ecosystem than there is in the Lunk ecosystem, I think. So don't you think it would be worth the risk? Wait, did you say risk? Oh my God, Believes, fine. Go ahead and do it. Thanks, Believe. You're really handsome. Uh, anyway, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you check out Katera Casino. This is where you can come and where you can trade your Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin in order to do some risk-based gaming with plenty of different games and sports wagering as well. Also, uh, are you good at poker? Do you think you're good at poker? You may not be good at poker, but you think you're good at poker. Uh, or maybe you're just a talker and you don't really act upon it because you're not really that good. Well, the only way to find out is to go test yourself in PvP poker against other people. Or uh, do you think that um, the Florida Panthers are going to win the NHL championship? Uh, just kidding. They already did. Barkov already did. Uh, but if you, you, you want to, you can go over to the sports section and you can do some risk-based gaming and wagering on what it is. And by the way, if you're into crypto, you can also wager yourself on crypto as well. There's crypto trading right here, right here, right here, where, and by the way, they tell you it's risky. Well, I'm not scared. I'm not scared, bro. So uh, if you want to check this out, you can. And you're basically, you're wagering on whether or not price go up, price go down. It's pretty simple. So make sure you go check out terracasino.io today. Thanks, bro. Are we done now? All right. So um, we've got the, the potential merger. Now, there's an article up here, and let's talk about that. Terra Luna Classic community is currently reluctant to increase the validator limit from 130 to 100. Remember I told you about three days ago that this was happening, but it was just a bunch of numbers and gibberish, and all nodes had said, you know, we really want some more clarity on what's going on over here, right? Uh, but... Uh, it, it just, it, and look, this is, the proposal received a mere 30% yes, uh, uh, notably 46% no, and 22% abstain. Uh, Lunk proposal after denial to top delegates and validators. Among 46 validators who voted, only 10, such as all nodes, Luna Station, Lunk Goblins, Autism, and others voted against the proposal. All nodes stated the claim is not currently ready, the, the chain is not currently ready for it, stating the amount of Lunk required to get into the active set is not burdensome. Proposer suggested that expanding the validator set 230 will strengthen the Terra Classic network decentralization and benefit the Lunk community. However, uh, it's not really what they were saying. That's what they just put up a, a bunch of numbers. Uh, remember, we, we saw this. This was just a bunch of numbers uh, showing you some, some differentials here. Uh, Terra Classic ecosystem tokens gained upside momentum amid a rearrangement of Lunk positions after Bitcoin Turk crypto exchange delisted Lunk after the hack. Lunk futures open interest rises 24% in the last four hours. Now, uh, the question is, will they relist Luna Classic after... Uh, you know, basically ripping off the community. Is that is that a fair thing to say that you know they get they get hacked and then they abandon? I don't know that they're actually abandoning. So, uh, but but it's very very odd. And you know, we might see something happen here uh, not that long from now once they've gotten everything. And they by the way are going to get some of their stuff back. Uh, Binance did pause their the trading because it was all moved over there, and Binance did blacklist those wallets. So perhaps. Just perhaps we will see uh, a return and some. Uh, um, they're they're going to fix the problem, and then we'll move on uh, with with uh, continued trading. So uh, that did cause a spike in the price, which we'll check out in just a moment. Over here, 
uh, increase the gas cost transactions uh, 10x. We haven't gotten that for a proposal yet, but that's from Strathcoal. Uh, and then uh, the plan to vastly increase lung birds. Now, I put here, doesn't this just mean exchanges would lose thousands upon thousands of dollars with every transfer? Uh, and then Lunk Crypto will reply to me in short term, yes. But if they keep $1 billion Lunk in reserve, uh, then when Lunk gets back to all-time high, they'll have $100 billion worth of Lunk each. But that doesn't really make any sense because they've already got money. They've already made money. They already have uh, th this money sitting there. Why would they give up money on the risk? That's not really how they do this. Uh, they're, they're not going to give up money in the, in the hope that it becomes more money later on. So it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense there. Um, it, so I, I don't think that there's anything, there's, there's nothing close to it going to happen here. So let's check price action. So um, I, I got rid of a lot of this stuff on the chart. You can see here, we're still in this sort of wedge pattern. Now we broke down below, should be noted, we broke down below right here when we, we had that move down, but we came quickly and sharply back into the range, as you can see here on the bottom, that's a, a good sign. Now, we are still getting rejected at about 8,400. Now, when you zoom out here just a little bit, then you start to see you know, how this chart kind of plays out. And you'll notice that we're getting rejected right here in this little, this where this node starts to really pump. So um, when you zoom out just a little bit more and you take a more uh, robust look at it, then you'll see here 92, uh, and then coming up here about 10.7. Those are the two. Uh, that we're we're going to be drawn like a magnet, is my opinion, to about 9,000. You're going to see that coming in short order. I can you know there's this is where all the volume is traded right now. And all I'm using is VRVP, by the way. You can use it yourself on TradingView. Uh, but that gives you an idea of and and by the way, crypto is attracted to areas with high trading volume. So that's what we're looking at right here. That's what we're seeing play out. Shorter term, if we look at it on the hour chart and then we just kind of zoom out and get an idea of where we are for the last bunch of hours, then you're looking at this point right here, right in this little range right here, and that's 10,400. Okay, that's three zeros, 10, four. Good, buddy. So that's where I expect that we're probably going to move back to in the shorter term. Now, longer term, uh, we're still looking at three zeros, 15, uh, breaking out towards the top of this bigger range. I, you know, I'm sure we're going to have that big move. Now, I told you guys before that in my little trade bag uh, that I keep over here for, for Coin Hall, that I moved everything into Lunk for right now uh, because I want to see, you know, I think the price appreciation on Lunk is going to be a little more robust than it'll be on some of this other stuff for the moment. Uh, and then I'm going to go back in, we're going to grab some rec off. we're going to grab some of the, uh, we're going to grab some Roddy. We're going to grab a couple of these different tokens. Uh, we're going to be part of each and every one of these little communities over here. But I do think that there's another little pump coming with Luna Classic. So I'm going to ride that for a little while um, and, and then pump that up. And then I'm going to just distribute uh, whatever is out there into these tokens. Also, uh, don't forget, I do want to point this out. Although nothing has been confirmed yet, Rakoff, uh, if you uh, grant here, Going back here, there's a, you know, this this it's doing its retracement now. I suspect, by the way, that there is some still retracement left to go because you kind of come into this node right here. But you know, generally speaking, most cryptos extend themselves back down to the top of that previous high. So uh, it would seem to me like the the reason that I'm comfortable holding on to it is not because you know I like or don't like a project, but because I see you know this is this is most likely the the play out here is boom right here and then bang and then you get a continuation from there. So uh, and that's just crypto, bro. So uh, I I'm comfortable right now, kind of holding back and waiting for my moment. I get a sense here and I get a feeling, even though we got this really nice wick right here, a lot of buy pressure coming in, there's gonna be some sell pressure, a little bit of sell pressure. I think it's gonna come down just a little bit and then boom, we'll be able to bang off of that. So it's my opinion, by the way, I could be wrong. No proposals up right now. Uh, as far as volume goes, 89 million in volume, uh, prices up 7.8% over here on uh, USTC, up 39%. Uh, price is up 5%. Now, big news over here. Tether announces a strategic transition to prioritize community-driven blockchain support. Now, more broadly, what does that mean? Well, uh, it, it says the transition will proceed as follows. Tether will stop minting USDT on EOS and Algorand starting today. Tether will continue to redeem USDC 
uh, USDT on EOS and Algorand as usual for the next 12 months for a chain may be evaluated and announced around that time. We assure our community that this transition will be executed meticulously and with minimal disruption. Our top priority remains delivering a seamless user experience. So it, it is entirely possible that we could see Tether uh, come up with a method in which they want to mint on the Luna Classic blockchain. Game changer, by the way. Uh, do we have UST? You know, USTC might be a thing in the past by the time this is done. Now, I don't think that it is, but uh, the support of Tether in this community could be something really interesting that would play out. So I'll be watching for that and, and we'll see what happens. As far as Lunk Dash goes, no proposals or anything like that up right now. Again, I told you that before. Almost 7 billion tokens burned in the last two days. Uh, so again, when you consider the 274 billion that's about to be burned by Chris Amani, and you consider the, the 7 billion that we basically had burned over the last seven days, significant amounts of burn taking place, that's going to be something that's really, I think, going to start uh, a, a nice little pump. Now, let's check out the project of the day. And the project of the day is by the LBUN project, and it's called Meme Coin Madness. Now, Let's go over this. Uh, you can see right here, there's their logo. And then the dive headfirst into the wacky world of meme coin madness. This isn't just any cryptocurrency game. It's your gateway to becoming a meme mogul on the chaotic lunk chain. Here you'll juggle creating and trading the zaniest meme coins you can dream up. In meme coin madness, every player gets a shot at meme coin magnet status. Start your journey by buying low and aiming high. But remember, this market's as unpredictable as a cat video going viral. Can you spot the next big digital gold mine? Or will you tumble into a meme and infested speculative abyss. The real thrill kicks in every 15 minutes when the crypto gods randomly choose who can sell. Timing is everything. Be the early bird who cashes out on the hype or risk watching your digital dough deflate. It's a wild race to rake in those ridiculous rewards. So grab your digital wallet and uh, and your sense of humor. Do you have the guts and the memes to rule the market? Jump into meme coin madness and become the king or queen of meme coin chaos. And then there's an instruction manual over here to kind of give you an idea of how to play. And there's the pump phase, the dump phase. Um, and, and all you have to do is be somebody who can uh, be part of it. And you can pop in here and check it out at the Elbun Project, uh, which is uh, at base. Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than cryptonomy.finance? Remember, cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm gonna max that out. I'm gonna stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's gonna give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back over here to the launch pool. I'm gonna throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm gonna be in the bronze level. I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Underscore token community. And if you guys remember, by the way, I'm holding a significant amount of base right now because I think that that's uh, gonna probably appreciate greatly in price as well. I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you whether that will or not, but I am under the impression that something like that probably going to have a nice. And these are, by the way, good developers in the the, the ecosystem and in the space. So I I really have a lot of confidence that that's going to happen. So that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, make sure that you go check out um, Terra Casino. Uh, make sure you go check out Terraport. All of this is brought to you by Terraport and Terra Casino uh, and, and these guys, uh, Strath Cole, Rex YZ. You know, all of these guys are big contributors and they are uh, creating and building. And, you know, we have a list here. We have Terraport, we have Terra Casino, we have Terra Tritium, we have Galactic Shift, Garuda, the Elbun Project, Lunk Metrics, FRG, Frag, Miata, Cremation, uh, I can't say the name of this one because it's a big game that's under development. It's being rebranded, so I can't say the name of it because the name won't matter. Uh, then we have the food token. Uh, we have Air Force Lunk. 
And we have one called Metagloria. I haven't found anything out about that. We were looking for it, but it seems to have paused development a little bit. We'll see if it picks up steam a little bit later on but there's a lot going on and if you haven't already happy caddy crypto just had a video of some penguins uh on a luna classic video on the blockchain so if you want to go check that out you should go check that out uh if you want to become an investor in that game or buy some nfts from that game maybe you should do that uh, but if you do that you should go through miata or you should go through the garuda uh network one of those um nft places and get them there anyway it's not financial advice i'm always right thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you again soon